So what we have here is Captain Rob's Street Luge. And what I've been doing is trying to figure out ways to enhance the grip and performance of it. And messing around with different ideas. So let me show you what I've got. Alright, so with this luge, it was originally designed from the ground up for other plant trucks. And these are trucks that were on it originally. This one and that one there. But I've taken those off because we're in prototyping mode. And what I've done is I've put my cast Ronin on the front there. And the idea with the cast Ronin is it's got a lot better turning. The other plants don't have a lot of uh, a, a high, very high uh, pivot angle. So this will provide more turning for the front. It's got tall bushings so it can lean and keep up with the lean of the other plants a little bit better back here. And then it's also got that support pin so that it, it ha it'll have a nice precise feel to it and not very much loss of steering to slop. And in the rear, what I've got going on in the rear is I'm attempting to make, I, so I want, this, I want this luge to grip. And one of the biggest drawbacks of the other plant trucks is how drifty they are and that really holds them back in competitive uh, racing applications. You really want to stay hooked up and lose, and not lose speed to drifting when you want to be when you're wanting to stay hooked up. So, what I'm doing is I'm attempting to find ways to make this truck more grippy. And so what I've done is I put these Franken pegs on here, and and uh, the Franken pegs allow you to move the resistance from the center out to the edges where the where the the, the motion is greater on the hanger. So you have a you have a leverage advantage further out, and that's that's really good for providing more resistance. But what I've also done is I'm using uh, I'm using <laughs> not O-rings. I'm actually using uh, latex balloons, and uh, latex balloons. Latex is a lot more reboundy and snappy than. Uh, than the butyl o-rings that we've been using in the past. And the thing about that is that it uh, it makes the hanger a lot quicker to respond to changes in the road condition underneath it. As it, you know, instead of just having a set amount of rebound pushing the wheel into the pavement, as as you go over bumps and stuff, a more reboundy resistance will be able to adapt to that faster. And so we kind of think about the resistance and the hanger is kind of providing suspension. And that's the current idea. So what I'm actually wanting to do today, so this is, this is, the, this is a kind of a potentially big breakthrough here is using these, these rubber bands instead of O-rings. And that should, that really increases the, the, the rebound um, of, of the resistance by a ton. Uh, but the other thing I've done, if I take this apart, is I've also I've got this sheet of this is actually from is high density polyethylene from a bottle of uh, windshield cleaner and I've got two one on each side so the hanger aside from being having this this more rebounding material I've also put some low friction uh, shims in there, so, there's, so that the uh, so there's not very much friction between the hanger and the base plate. And the next thing I want to try, and why I've got this truck uh, luge down today, is I'm going to be replacing this neoprene cam. I think on the luge we might be able to get away with using these rigid cams I made earlier. So, unfortunately I lost my tripod. I think I might have left it at the shop. But I'm gonna figure out which of these cams I want to use. I'm gonna stick one of these on there. So, some of these cams are designed for different things. The luge, the street luge doesn't need to lean nearly as far as a longboard does. So. 
this cam here provides the most lean. We don't need that one. This provides a lot of lean too. Uh, but it's probably going to be one of these these cams here. See how it's got this taller edge? So it might be that one. I might even want to do... These are blanks. Blank. I might even want to do this one. I might try this cam, which is... <laughs> That might not be enough. Maybe this cam. Let's try this cam here. This is a P2 final. So this is this is a this is a standard P2 cam, but it's rigid. And I'm going to stick it in there. And because the rigid cams have a have they roll the, the hanger will roll over them so much easier. So I'm thinking it'll really really improve the responsiveness and the reboundiness of the hanger and how fastly the re the hanger will be, able, will be able to respond to changes in the road condition. So that's the goal. So I will put the camera down somewhere. Actually, just excuse me. so what I've got to do is I've just got to drill out the holes in the cam to match the rivets in the truck. And I'll stick it in there and we'll see what it feels like when I put it back together. All right, so here we are with the uh, resistance back on there. And uh, that cam's a little tight in there. It's a little too wide, so it'll have, to, it'll have to wear down. But I think it's feeling pretty good. Uh, yeah, I think, I'm hopeful about this, that it'll make a difference. If my theory is correct that the reboundiness of the resistance and how fast the hanger can respond then uh, that if I if that has an effect on the grip then this should this should demonstrate it so we'll just have to uh, get this back to Rob and have him try it out so there we go lawnmower technology over and out